and welcome back to Minecraft Horizons Mod Pack. And uh, let's see, last time I had just got my uh, extractor up and running, and it was then that I realized, well, I had realized it before, but I did not have enough power to keep it running. So, since last time, I've done a bit more work. As you can see over here, I, I uh, put all that iron I had going through the extractor, smelted some of it down, the rest is still in here. I mean, look at all this. All of this! One, two, three, four stacks of iron ore flakes, and a little bit more. Not to mention, all, not even counting all the uh, ore flakes I already smelted down to help make all this. But yeah, four stacks out of that one stack of ore is very, very nice. Ah. Plus, I uh, had to make a few more magmatic dynamos, and by a few, I mean five. Five more magmatic dynamos just to help keep up with uh, the power usage. And even with that, it is still draining. It is still draining power even with seven magmatic dynamos. I did make a second redstone energy cell to put right here to uh, help charge up while I'm uh, not extracting. That way I'll have plenty of energy so I don't have to waste time waiting for it to recharge. But yeah, I uh, put these up and going and I was able to get a lot more stuff extracting and like that. And so far this has uh, maintained its lubricant. I haven't had to refill it yet, which is very nice. And right now I am doing copper as well as gold or dust and gold and some nether quart it, quartz coming up. I put an item hopper on top of it so I can uh, fill up a chest with all of the various extractor uh, compatible ores that I can just stick in here and let them go. Now I did make a few more rock melters and uh, I only made one more um, steam engine though, but I did put this industrial coil right up on this one, and I'll show you why right now. I have it set to go at maximum speed and maximum torque, and if you'll remember last time I said that these will go as fast as the engine that is powering it can go. So the more power you put into it, the faster this will run. And these will melt down one netherrack every 20-30 seconds or so, maybe a bit more time. But this, this should melt down netherrack a lot faster once the actual frame rate catches up. Uh, see that? Eight, seven, it's melting down netherrack every few seconds right now with the... Uh, amount of power going into it. That speed and that torque. And it's actually filling up the tank inside of this. In fact, I need to grab some more netherrack out of this just to uh, refill it. And I did head to the nether and grab some more netherrack because I did run out. So I made a quick trip in there, took my hammer, smashed a few walls down, and got a few stacks worth. So yeah. This does go a lot faster the more power you get into it, and I'm getting some frame rate lag right now. But yeah, the more power you put into it, the faster it goes. And I am so glad I made this coil when I did and had it charging when uh, I didn't need that steam engine, because it is coming in handy right now. Because otherwise, I would not have had enough lava to keep all of these going. Ugh. But as it stands, i got 37 buckets worth of lava in here right now. So that should keep these going for a little bit longer. I don't know how much is left inside that coil, though. But, yeah, this chest is starting to fill up. So what I want to do right now is uh, I need a better uh, furnace to smelt all this stuff down. Now, I did do I still have that... Uh, that heater thing that you can put on these normal furnaces but 
uh, there is a chance that it could overheat the furnace and cause it to melt and lose all the stuff that's inside of it and I don't want to do that because I think it turns it into a, a uh, block of lava I'm not sure I have not run it long enough to do that so what I'm going to do is build one of these which is a redstone furnace and I probably should have built one of these earlier it's just some redstone machine frame bricks and all this other simple stuff but I'm also going to grab this item hopper and do I have a chest no I do not have a chest I need one more chest I think or not no no I don't need another chest I can use use this one out here so I'm gonna take this put it right here hopefully it starts filling up yeah there we go and I'm gonna break this chest and uh, these are uh, the diamond ore flakes and I just need to drop all this stuff so I can put that down now I did uh, melt uh, put through all the stuff I needed I uh, really did need uh, extracted stuff like my uh, stacks and stacks of diamonds I did that and yeah <laughs> I only I think it, what was it that I had last time eight diamond ore left I only had eight diamond ore and now I have 45 diamond ore flakes and they are going to turn if I'm not mistaken into one diamond each that's 45 diamonds from a uh, eight diamond ore I mean damn look at this all these beautiful diamonds oh wonderful diamonds yes so what I'm gonna do now is take some of these item ducks which I have not made before on this uh, in this let's play playthrough whatever so let me just show you real quick they are uh, just some tin and lead fairly simple to make just like all the other pipes so uh, yeah let's move this right here and I don't think I've showed them yet but they work similar to the other pipes let me just uh, break this you uh, can set them with a uh, crescent hammer to either input to disappear to input only to output only with a redstone signal and they will pull out of the inventory they are connected to which I have, have it set up to this extractor pulling out and now heading right into here so all the stuff that's being uh, extracted will now be going into this which I that is why I needed another chest but yeah there we go one more chest my old enemy the door <laughs> there we go now this should be outputting there if uh yeah is it if the frame rate actually uh, catches up at any point uh, I am lagging a little bit right now I'm not really sure why uh, okay but yeah it's uh, creating the diamonds let me just take these out of there because I am gonna need a few for what I'm about to do um, while I wait for all this extracting all this to finish extracting it's working on aluminum right now and I got tons of other stuff I need to get extracted and I think this should have enough power to keep it running for right now I mean this has six million in it so and it's got plenty of lava so yeah while I am waiting for that I think I'm gonna take a look at magical crops because I got all of this essence dust while I was down there mining and I haven't really done anything with it and while I'm here let's take a look at our ender lily seeds which I planted a very long time ago before I even started working on that and one of them is still ungrown actually two of them aren't grown yet but three of them these three look like they're fully mature so I just have to break it and I get a seed back and one ender pearl so let's replant this break this one 
Another seed. Come on, give me another seed. Aw. Oh. I was kind of hoping for extra seeds. But I did get three Ender Pearls out of that. Which will save me from having to hunt down Endermen. Aha. And go away, sheep. Go away. Shoo. Shoo. Go away. Go away. Evil little sheep, go away. Ah. Okay, he wasn't really evil. But yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, let's see. Essence dust is part of magical crops and you can use it to create special types of seeds so let's take a look now the basic essence dust is combined with a infu weak infusion stone which is created from diamonds and essence or emeralds and essence and uh, wait and it creates weak essence and it can also be used for that that's it or you can use it to create infused coal, which uh, isn't all that great. But you can take this weak essence, combine it with a uh, some seeds, some coal, and you can get coal seeds. Or you can combine it with random dye and get dye seeds, or buckets of water to get water seeds, which is an elemental thing fire seeds, earth seeds, and air seeds. Now, I'm not sure what exactly these are used for, but uh, I know it gives you the essence, like air essence, earth essence, and like that. So let's see, can we find uh, coal essence? Here we go. I can't, it's uh, I clicking on it and nothing's happening. Ah, here we go. Uh, you had to press U on it. So you can use coal essence, either eight of them to make four coal, or use it to make a better regular infusion stone. You can also use it to make essence brick, essence uh, stone brick, as a die and like that. And the basically the uh, essence you get from these seeds you need in order to make the better essences. The uh, you use this. To, you use the basic essence with a weak infusion stone to make weak essence, and you use a regular infusion stone, which needs a weak infusion stone plus coal essence and dyes and fire essence or water essence, or basically any of the first tier of essences to make the better stone, which is then used to make this, which is regular essence. And you use regular essence with redstone to make redstone seeds, or glowstone seeds, or obsidian seeds, and copper seeds, and nether, tin, and basically you can keep going up each tier to get better seeds and actually grow crops that will give you iron and coal and glowstone and obsidian and eventually redstone, ender essence, obsidian, iron and blaze powder essence and all kinds of different stuff. So and it is a very long process, it's a very slow process, but once you get get up to it, you can make all types of different things, and you can actually eventually get up to Ender Pearls and uh, experience and Nether Rack and actually growing leather, <laughs> which is odd. I think that's actually kind of odd because you can use the cow essence to make leather. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take a couple of these diamonds, like uh, what? What do you think? nine of them should be enough there we go I'm gonna make nine of these I think I need that many of these um, and we take these and we use them in combination with a uh, something so we use this <laughs> I'm still figuring this out okay we use that to make weak essence. Right. So we use this weak infusion stone with this to make weak essence. And we need weak essence to make the basic stuff like coal and like that. 
So we put that in there with that. So making four of those like that. And then we use this with like uh, coal, four of those with coal, maybe some earth, I'm not sure. So let's make some coal seeds. Now I'm hoping the seeds we get out of the, the seeds we get out of these plants will actually give us more seeds. So I plant the coal seeds and I'll get more than one coal seed per plant because that would be very nice. Otherwise, I'm just gonna have to make a ton of this stuff. So let's uh, let's do a, one more coal and like that. And let's do some earth as well. I don't have any buckets of lava or uh, uh, buckets of water, so let's do some air as well. Air seeds. And <laughs> this is a bit expensive. It's very expensive, actually. But, uh, let's see. Let's. I did pick up all of my uh, canola because I had tons of seeds and I don't really need them. So, let's put down the earth element crop and uh, a couple coal and this air and uh, can you bone, bone meal this stuff? That'll be a good... Uh, let me go grab some bone meal and I'll see if we can actually bone meal this stuff. Okay, let's see if we can actually bone meal this. No? No? Ah, crap! No, nope, I didn't want to break that. It doesn't look like you can actually bone meal the magical crops. Ah, crap. Um, now I know there is something called, uh, what's it called? A uh, watering can? I don't know if, is there a watering can in this mod pack? Watering can. Water. Water. Ring. Ah. Extra utilities. Here we go. Watering can. Plants and crops require lots of love and attention. Didn't you know that? A mere act of blah. Huh. Could actually make them grow faster. So. Empty. Empty. What? What's the difference? Uh, okay. Four stone and a bowl. Okay. And stone, 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 stone. Watering can. So how does the watering can work? Do I, uh, right click on a, some water? Oh, there we go. Haha, <laughs> it's filled. Now, let's see if this actually works. Uh, I don't know if this will work on these or not. So, it'll be interesting to find out. Does it work? Huh. Ah! Growth 14%. Uh, is it going to go up anymore? Come on. 29? Yes, it's actually working! Now, let's see. Okay, I'm going to stand here, keep watering. Oh, it's actually going up a lot faster than I thought. That it would take a few sec a few minutes or so. Oh, it worked! It's done. Okay, now let's break this. Do I have, do it? Can I right click? No. Left click. Did I get more than one seed? No. Ah, but I did get some earth essence. So what does what is earth essence used for? So you can use it with water essence to make oak leaves. Interesting. Spruce leaves, birch leaves. Clay, you can actually make clay. Now that is very nice. Because I'm always low on clay. But I do need to make some water essence though. Okay, well, I think I'm going to uh, sit here watering these plants and see if I can get some more seeds and see if I can get some more essence out of it. So I can uh, maybe... Ah! I'm only getting one seed. Huh. Now oh, well. So yeah, uh, I'm going to see if I can get enough essence to get to the next tier. And I might go ahead and make the uh, seeds for the next tier. Did I get two? No. Now oh, well. 
Uh, I, I'm not really sure if you actually do get multiple seeds from these plants. Because you do have to craft the seeds themselves, so getting multiple seeds might not be uh, the most balanced of things. You may only get one seed per plant at that. That kind of sucks, actually. But I guess it's balanced. So, what I think I'm going to do is uh, maybe water can, watering can these guys, these uh, plants a little bit more. Try and get some more essence, and maybe make some more seeds once I get some more essence. Because I have tons and tons. I know I say I have tons of this essence dust, but I know I'm probably going to need a hell of a lot more in the end. Because there are a, quite a few different tiers of it. And you can actually get all the way up to diamond, which would be very nice. But yeah. Wait a minute. What's this? Raw mutton. Huh. I guess I got that from that sheep. Didn't even notice it. Oh well. Anyway, uh, I'm going to get back to work on this and uh, wait for all of my stuff to finish. Ooh, maybe I should check and make sure the power is still going. Yep, it's still going. still has power. So yeah, I'm going to wait for all of this stuff to smelt that to uh uh extractor down extractor down and then uh smelt down in my redstone furnace and wait for all of that to do and do a little bit more on these plants and see what we can get for next time so yeah anyway thanks for watching this has been Bobson this has been Minecraft Horizons mod pack and until next time I will see you later bye